Excellencies, dear Thomas, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, um, let me welcome you at the um, 35th um, Governing Council meeting. I would like to um, express my pleasure of co-hosting together with my uh, dear colleague Thomas Garrett, uh, the Secretary General of the Community of Democracies, another ordinary meeting of um, the Governing Council, which is the fifth uh, and also the last of this kind um, under the presidency of uh, Romania. Before starting our um, discussion, uh, with your permission, I would like to take a moment to pay tribute to the memory of uh, the Honorable Madeleine Albright, the parent of our uh, community of values, who enlightened and inspired us with her wisdom and vision all along the existence of our uh, community. We were very much honored to have her as a keynote speaker at the 20th uh, anniversary conference of the Community of Democracies, which I um, hosted in June 2020. Her words that they uh, are as actual as ever, and I quote, we um, come together as a community of democracies uh, because we believed in freedom, but recognized its fragility. Today, democracy faces a new round of tests, and it is more important than ever for democratic nations to help one another and work together in solidarity, end of quote. This is indeed the essence of our work, as we strive to uphold and defend our values and uh, principles. I welcome the uh, incoming Canadian Presidency of the Community of Democracies, and I uh, congratulate the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Canada for taking up uh, the mantle. We will hear more from uh, Mr. Robert Oliphant, Parliamentary Secretary, who will uh, uh, say a few words um, after my uh, intervention. Uh, myself and my team are very open to share good practices and ensure uh, a swift uh, transition. You can count on us. Our intention is to organize a handover uh, ceremony in September, perhaps during a special uh, governing council meeting in New York in the margins of the 77th UN General, General Assembly session. Um, all governing council members in person. Mr. Secretary General, dear Thomas, I take this opportunity to, to convey to you uh, one more time uh, my gratitude for your constant support and uh, friendship, and I commend you for the active engagement in the service of our community. Ladies and gentlemen, we are undergoing a very complicated international context, one in which the very core of the international rules-based order is openly challenged. This represents an acute threat to democracies around the world. Since February, the war in Ukraine has brought multidimensional consequences for this country, for Europe, and for the world. The brutal, unjustified, and unprovoked illegal military aggression of the Russian Federation against Ukraine has already caused extensive damage and irrational loss of life triggering massive displacement with consequences which will affect the Ukrainian people for generations. The continuous horrific attacks on innocent civilians continue to shock us all. This aggression is an unacceptable attack on the Ukrainian people's unequivocal choice for democracy and freedom. Defending and upholding fundamental values, respect for human rights and democratic principles are, of course, the main goals of our community. Over the past month, we, the community of democracies have come together and vocally stated our support for Ukraine and its people. But as this uh, becomes a war of attrition, it is high time that the community of democracies states um, come together to also provide concrete measures for defending and protecting the young Ukrainian democracy and at the same time for the reconstruction of Ukraine. For example, since the beginning of the war, more than 1.45 million refugees entered Romania mostly women and children. For them, we ensure free access to medical assistance, school enrollment, and free transportation, as well as a series of um, consistent humanitarian uh, aid. We have also tackled the severe food insecurity generated by Russia with impact around the globe. Romania is actively involved in facilitating the transfer of uh, Ukrainian grain exports and due to our geostrategic position to serve as a hub for this uh, grain transports. We are also trying to find the best solutions to ease the transit through our railway system and the Black Sea port of Constanza and our ports on the Danube. Beyond the current multifaceted support the global community is offering to Ukraine in Ukraine, the rule of law, 
for a free, uh, modern and democratic Ukraine. Ladies and gentlemen, Ukraine is a signatory of the Warsaw Declaration and has fully demonstrated its determination not only to become a well-respected democracy, but also to defend the European democracies. As presidency of the community of democracies, we strongly believe that it is the right time to have Ukraine as a member of the governing council. This would facilitate having Ukraine as a model and inspiration for young democracies around the world, and also to closely and consistently support its democratic governance throughout these challenging times. If Ukraine decides to join us, it is my special kind request for all of us to facilitate a swift accession process. At the same time, we must also maintain our vocal exposure of Russia's flagrant abuses in all international fora. As I have said before, statements must be firmer, sanctions must be tougher, and our defense must be stronger. Ladies and gentlemen, as we are approaching the end of our presidency's mandate, I would uh, also use this opportunity to share with you some of our main achievements and lessons learned. First, assuming the presidency as well as the one-year extension, Romania demonstrated its strong and enduring commitment towards furthering the community's work, vision and mission. We are grateful for the level of confidence our country has enjoyed within the community of democracies and the recognition of Romania's continued efforts to support the rule of law and fundamental rights and freedoms. Second, during its mandate, Romania has actively promoted the principles of the community and together with Secretary General Garrett and the Permanent Secretariat has implemented an intense calendar of events despite the difficult circumstances caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. We organized the 20th anniversary conference of the Warsaw Declaration, the 10th Community of Democracies Ministerial Meeting in the margins of the UN High Level Week last year, five ordinary council governing council meetings and a few other extraordinary meetings imposed by different international circumstances threatening our democratic world, such as the developments in Mali and Ukraine. Under the Romanian presidency, the governing council held thematic meetings and also adopted several declarations of the community of democracies in order to advance democratic principles and values and to better position the organization. Third, Romania's main objectives for the community of democracies presidency have been inter alia to facilitate the participation of young people in democratic processes to promote democracy globally as the only political system that guarantees prosperity and sustainable development and and information technology. I'm proud to say that Romania has actively contributed to advancing all these priorities. With the support of the Permanent Secretariat, we launched and organized yearly meetings of the Community of Democracies Youth Forum Connecting Youth Democracy Leaders. This offered the best opportunity to advancing youth engagement in public life and in democratic processes, including through using information technology. We hope this important project will continue. We also held excellent meetings on the impact of malign influences and hybrid threats on democratic governance, on the role of technology in promoting democracy and also on advancing women's empowerment. Fourth, Romania supported the US-led efforts in globally promoting democratic renewal and the summit for democracy organized by President Biden last December. In this capacity, Romania remains determined to promote democratic values and principles around the world, including by working with partners during this year of action for concrete deliverables that will set the stage for the second meeting of the Summit for Democracy in December this year. Dear members of the Governing Council, I would like to thank all of you support the activities approved in January by the Governing Council, including those related to the operational costs of the Permanent Secretariat. However, on behalf of the President, it is my task to kindly ask all of you who have not yet committed to contribute. And we will hear later today from the Secretary General about our financial situation. But I feel obliged to throw the weight of the Presidency remarks so that the Community of Democracies work not be delayed waiting for voluntary announcements every now and then. Romania has contributed every year since 2019, and for this year its contribution amounts to 100,000 euros, both for activities and for the functioning of the Secretariat. We also plan to continue our voluntary contributions beyond our mandate as Presidency, 
and we intend to dedicate our funding next year for the activities of the International Steering Committee Secretariat. Dear friends, I thank you all for your support, cooperation, and availability that you have shown to the Romanian Presidency. I encourage you to intensify the um, exchanges in the working groups of the community, maybe to extend them with some topical uh, subjects such as climate change or food insecurity, as well as to actively interact with the International Steering Committee. Before closing my remarks, I want to reiterate what I have said um, for many times. We need a stronger, more present and more vocal community of democracies. We need to consolidate the resilience of our democracies and to have a more resilient community. We must be vigilant in defending democracy at home and abroad and to sanction any attempts of hijacking democratic processes. We must observe the implementation of the principles enshrined in the Warsaw Declaration, safe and engaged in our democratic processes. We especially need to focus on the young generation. And we need to react promptly and vocally whenever the democracy is threatened in a specific country or region. Romania will continue beyond its presidency mandate to stand for the principles underpinning the community and the results of our presidency of the community of democracies, I think, reflect our resolve to play an active role in this respect. Let me close my intervention with another inspiring quote, quote of the uh, Honorable Madeleine Albright. History teaches us that individuals and groups who crave then abuse authority will always be present among us. But to them, we now have answers, and one of these answers is the community of democracies. So we have the answer, especially in these challenging times. I thank you all for your attention. I'm looking forward to our discussions today.